big shot. Can you make it a notch? Cool and ham with Superman. <laughs> YouTube lab, man. Okay, so guess what? Got something else from me. I got too many of these things. I, you know, every time you order something from them, they send send a sticker. These ain't even half of the stickers I got, but I got another package in today. And came in this. It's an AR57 ULT. It's for, uh, I think it's uh, Ultralight. Um, so what it is. <laughs> and drop that. So it is a 5.7 upper that goes on the AR. Now, I didn't come with this hollow sun. I ordered the hollow sun from Palmetto too. It's the HS510C. Um, you know, hollow sun, holographic red dot, uh, and pop the uh, little pop up back up front sight on there. And a little angle for grip. Um, but this thing, ambidextrous mag release, mag is on top. It's the same mag that the uh, P90 takes. Um, a little weird loading it, but uh, order, also ordered extra mag too. Um, so got it all loaded up, 50 rounds there. Um, but it, yeah, it's a little weird to load. I saw like um, where some people use like a, a pen or like a stick or something like that to get in and depress it. You really don't need that though. It's, it's got ramps on either side um, where you can just like feed it in and push it down. I might have to do a separate video on just loading the mag, um, but it, it's not hard. It's not hard once you get the uh, the flow of it. Oh, get this thing here. Uh, boat carrier fell out uh so yeah, be careful with that just grabbing it because it does come with the bow carrier sitting in there like that and it will fall out as you see from me <laughs> just picking it up here and um also it comes with a its own buffer tube and yeah that thing is going to show you which way it goes in there anyway but it goes in there up like that uh it comes with its own buffer tube i'm not um sure i do probably a little more research on that too as to on um, the difference that the uh the buffer tube makes uh and the firing of it or anything because I'm making this deal with my um my binary my Franklin Armory binary uh lower because this this will mate with any AR lower. So just as quick as you can change you know a 300 blackout to a 556 um 308, you can just slap this on there, you're good to go. So now the empty mag, slap that on there. You gotta hold the mag release to lock the mag in, but once it gets in there, it's in there. So you got your mag, and I found a use for my um. I mission first uh, tactical garbage as uh, mag <laughs> um, because the mag on this is here. You really don't need anything in the mag well because this is where the spent casings will eject from the mag well here. So it comes out just that easy. Like that. So clear here, you can see clean through there. So the mag, the way it sits, it sits right here. So that's where your spent casings will fall from here. So what I had to do, um, because when when the upper is on here, uh, a mag won't fit in here. So I had to uh, get my circular saw out and take a probably about, mm, let's say half an inch, maybe an inch. Off of the top, uh, the mag actually like cracked it a little bit. Um, <laughs> I guess going too hard on it, but still works. Locks in there, and what's going to happen in theory? And from I've only seen like two videos of these. Um, you know, that's my thing. I want, if I see something and I don't see a lot of people with it, I really want it. So um, I'm <laughs> I, I got it. So 
Um, on the videos I've seen, if you do put an empty mag in there and working in, it works. That it worked out good that I got one with the window that I really didn't care about. Um, Cause it, I don't know, I just had issues with that uh, the MFT mag. So I found a use for it. It's gonna be my um, my brass catcher for my um, five seven AR. I think I'm might be the five seven king at this point. Uh, Cause I, right now for in the collection I have the the Palmetto. Yeah. My people, they should have sponsored me at this point. I got my Palmetto um, Rock 5.7. I got the Smith & Wesson 5.7 that I traded my Ruger in to get. So I had the Ruger 5.7. You know, everybody had the FN. So again, I like to be different. So I, I don't own the 5.7, but I shot the 5.7. Um, shot the um, the P90. And there's one more. It's a Caltech. That thing is ugly, though. I, <laughs> I would not get it. Um, I'd much rather... Um, prefer that. I, so I haven't shot the Caltech 57, and um, don't really unless they change the design on it drastically or something like that. I'm not really looking um, to even touch one. So um, I will stick with my, my AR style 57. Um, uh, this is the lower I got on this. I got a whole build. If you haven't seen when I uh, when I did the build on my uh, my uh, binary AR, uh, Mr. Amber 556. Uh, Actually, it's a 223 wild is the uh, the uh, actual chambering of it, but you know, 223556, five, it'll, it'll fire both of them. So, I already got an upper for this lower, so I'm gonna buy a, a separate lower dedicated to this one. Um, even though I could swap them, but you know, with that buffer tool thing, that's another reason I need to do some more research on it. Um, to see about the difference in the buffer tube because this one came with a this lower came with its own buffer tube and it's been working fine with the uh, with the two two three wild uh upper that I have on it. So there's really no reason for me to to change it. So that's the only reason I'm thinking about getting a dedicated lower uh, for this. Plus, you know, I just like having extra stuff. So um so yeah I'm looking right now to find a lower. It may be a binary. It may have a uh folding um stock on it because I've been seeing a lot of those attachments too that I'm kind of interested in. So there may be a Cool little addition as well to I think the upper is pretty much done. Um, it's a great hollow sun, little backup angle. They don't need too much um, up there. Um, but yeah, we are going to take this thing to the range, um, test it out, see how it goes. I um, see what this binary does because the videos I've seen already, like I said, I've only seen two. Um, they don't have a binary, so this would be, to my knowledge, the first time testing this upper with a uh with the binary lower and binary trigger to um see how it works but yeah let's get to it have some fun
Yay. So everything went good at the range. Um, I wasn't recording for the very first shots, uh, but um, everything went good. Uh, the first time I did it, no, no mag uh, for catching. Um, so it was a bunch of, so that's the thing about shooting it with no mag, if you, especially you're in a, uh, indoor range and you just in, in your lane, um, all of us going right there at your feet. So it's going to clutter your lane up. Um, but using the mag, it worked, um, held all 50 rounds, probably would have held a little more. I don't know if you could do, uh, two mag reloads and do a hundred rounds. I don't know if it'll hold a hundred, uh, casings, um, but it definitely holds 50. So. So we know that works. We know it works with a binary now, um, too. So it work, works really good. Recoil, super, uh, super low on this thing. Um, you could do, you know, suppressed. Uh, there's so many options with this. Uh, it's crazy. But um, mine, like I said, I'm going to get a dedicated lower. Now that I know the binary works, it might be a binary. I don't know. Um, but uh, more than likely, it probably won't be just cost wise i probably just uh if i do want to go binary i know i can st just switch it to this and i just have one uh just semi-auto dedicated to it uh, so i can just pick it up and go whenever i feel like it um but uh but all in all it's great i don't know if i said this too that um it's from my good friends at panzer panzer actually makes this panzer arms um you know i got that panzer bp12 shotgun that i love i'm actually looking at another shotgun panzer's making so it may be coming um next year it'll be next year it'll definitely be next year but um so that may be coming soon but panzer arms is the one who makes this uh ar57 ult upper and so they don't sell it uh complete that i know of so you just get the upper and then made it with your lower or lower of choice and but other than that i don't have anything bad to say about it nice recoil uh, you look at the uh, targets. I hadn't sighted this thing in, so I'm gonna get this sighted in. That'd be a, probably another video sighting this in. Um, but you know, it went too far off. Grouping was great. Like I said, this thing got no recoil really at all. I don't know if it's that buffer that you uh, that comes with it that you swap out, or just you know it's a five seven round, so it doesn't um, automatic doesn't have it, that much kick coming out of a longer barrel and you know a bigger uh, frame than it normally does out of the pistol. So um i don't know but i have nothing bad to say about it i like it it's exactly what i thought it would be uh, that's why i got it just slap a little p90 mag on there rock out like i said ambidextrous mag releases on that side and that side but that's how you get the mag off and the charging handle is right here Still use the same slide lock um, that's on the lower. We'll lock it back, and you're free to move the charging handle how you feel. Lock it right there. Um, so yeah, if you're used to AR, not too much um, different. Like out of the gate, I kind of thought this was the charging handle, uh, thinking that the the mag release was the charging handle. So I tried to pull pull it back at the same time, but it, it's it's a rocking motion, so you can't pull it. At the same time, it's weird. But yeah, that's how you release the top mag there. And then loading the, you know, you gotta do a little meal work, uh, shaving down the mag to use for your brass catcher, but same mag release should work for you on there for your lower. So it's a nice setup. It's a nice setup, I'm not gonna lie. So Christmas came early, but I'm out. I appreciate y'all.